tonight to begin our fundraising campaign for the Maurice Bathhouse. The Maurice Bathhouse is the only bathhouse left on Central Avenue that is not under contract or does not have a tenant. I personally believe that this is the last brick in the wall for this side of Central to get the bathhouses fully operational again and to restore it to its past glory. This is a lovely day and the final bathhouse to be restored. We are so proud of our national park. We're as excited as we can with this turnout. This is a great day for Bathhouse Row in downtown Hot Springs, believe me. We're having a great time. I've always loved the National Park, and anything I can do to help promote our park, which is the most unique national park in the United States, I think, because it's the only one within the city, I'll do it. We're here for a wonderful purpose, and that's to help raise money for the Maurice, our last bathhouse that isn't yet renovated. So come on down, give them some money, and get this place renovated so we can start leasing it out and get some fabulous people in here. We have a great place in Hot Springs. These bathhouses have been here for many, many years, but they are a little in disarray. So we need people to help. We need people to donate. We would appreciate anything that you could do to come be a part of us and make Hot Springs even more beautiful and a great place to visit and to live. We are raising money to restore this beautiful bathhouse and we have had so much fun tonight. I put tile on the walls and I got to paint and we want to get more people involved because we want to restore this bathhouse. I think that this is a wonderful opportunity. It'll be a very much of a tourist attraction. Of course, all of the bathhouses have different things going for them, but this is one of a kind. It has a lot to offer, but there's a lot of work to be done here. I painted a wall back there myself, and if I can do it, anybody can do it. And you see the ladies with their gloves and their hammer? It's interesting. I never dreamed it would be like this. I think it's wonderful. Since I moved here in 1994, I've been very interested in the bathhouses. I love the fact that they're being used now and being restored. It's such a part of the history of Hot Springs and the nation. I'm very pleased to be a part of this tonight. I've broken down some walls, I've tiled, and I've painted. We love Hot Springs, and we love the bathhouses, and we love the history. We love the incredible charm and mojo of all the buildings here. We love the Maurice. It's been really awesome to see how this building has survived for a hundred years and is going to go on to do really amazing things. Hi, my name is Joey Williams. I'm a Hot Springs police officer and I'm here supporting Friends of the Park for the restoration of the Maurice Bathhouse. I think it's very important that we preserve our history. It's a, I think it's a dying thing in America and I think it's something to leave for our youth and our families that they can see for the future. I'm excited that this is only one of the last two bathhouses that has not been restored yet and we're working diligently towards having it restored. It's beautiful inside if you get a chance to do the tour. I personally brought some Mr. Maurice's Knights Templar items and Masonic items that I collected to share with the public and I'm just excited to be here. We got to bang down the wall. Isn't that wonderful? We had a little destruction activity up on the second floor. We all were able to knock out a piece of plaster. All the others were knocking out these little tiny slivers, half that thing. But she had bigger arms than I had. They said the whole wall was shaking when I was sitting with that hammer. We're Vapor Valley Questers, and Vapor Valley Questers is a group of people that get together that enjoy preservation and restoration. We like to restore and preserve what our forefathers have brought to bear. And this is one of the reasons why we're here at the Maurice Bathhouse. Our bathhouses are our glory point. That's what all our tourists see. And our forefathers who built these marvelous buildings need to help today to know that we are all for restoring and renovating and bringing them up to the standard that they should be and they have been in the past. So we're here for a fundraiser in this beautiful location to help people remember that this is what our hot springs and part of the National Park is all about, is to keep our buildings restored in a situation state that we can continue to use them. I'm Mildred Smith, my husband and I, Van Smith. I was a masseuse here and he was a masseur. And Mr. Floyd Thompson asked him if he'd like to become manager. He took our house, we borrowed money from Mr. Wheatley, 
to make the other payment, we bought controlling interest in the Marie's bathhouse in January of 56. And we managed this bathhouse until 1971, until it closed. We bathed Oni Madden and his wife. My husband massaged Oni Madden, in fact. He decided I should come downstairs and work in the office with him. And that way he could fish and hunt and I could manage the Marie's. Tony Madden and Costello, quite a few of the gamblers. <laughs> we called them gangsters. <laughs> Billy Maurice was from Chicago, and he was part of the so-called mafia, they said. We never knew that, of course. We never knew him. Most of the gamblers, the big kind gamblers, stayed at the Arlington, but they always bathed at the Maurice. They knew Billy Maurice at the time. Of course, we never met him, you know. It was very interesting and enjoyable when business was good. But of course, as we all knew, that after the gambling closed, the bath started deteriorating. Our goal is to raise $500,000 to renovate three historically significant areas of the bathhouse. No contribution is too small, and every dollar counts. And with your help, we'll get this back to where it once was and what it needs to be. If anything I could help them with, I'd sure do it because this is, it's really the center of attraction it really would be. I think it'd be wonderful. Hot Springs National Park is important to the state of Arkansas and the United States of America. We need everyone's support to bring this building back to life so everyone can enjoy it.